for the first time in my life, when seeing a movie, I had to stand up, pray in the spirit. I mean, the movie was still playing, it was still going on. I had to stand up, pray in the spirit for a little while before I could continue the movie. Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to Godly Living with Fulu and of course I am Fulu. Okay, so today I want to see, I want to do a, a review on a movie, a, a movie that is based or was based on uh, the story, the real life story of the president and founder of Mount Zion Films Ministry, evangelist Mike Bamiloye. Okay, so The Train is a good movie. I mean, you know that type of movie that you have to see more than once, that type of movie that you have to see again and again and again. Okay, so today I want to talk, I want to, I want to like address two things. If you are yet to see this movie, I want to give you reasons why you need to go see this movie. It is available for free on YouTube right now. And if you have seen it, I just want to point out some lessons that you might have omitted and maybe you didn't notice, but you must learn. There are a lot of lessons in this movie. I just want to point out some. And I don't want this video to be long. I want it to be as short as possible. And I've written the point so that I will not talk much on uh, on necessary issues. Okay, the first one is, if you're, if you're doubting God, the call of God over, over your life, this is a movie for you to watch. If you don't know where to go or how to go about it, or if you're thinking that, do I really have this call? Maybe because of some situations that are happening around you and you're now thinking, do I really have the call of God on my life? Do I really, should I really do this? Am I even capable? If you're doubting yourself, if you're doubting the call, you must see this movie. And if you have seen it, this is something that you should learn from it, that when God calls you, you know, it leads you every step of the way. You understand every step of the way you will, you will see is leading. Look at Brother Abayomi. Brother Abayomi actually attended a school, mm, the best college of education in the country, the Yemi College of Education, but he left because he could not, he was sure that that was not the place that God wanted him to be. And he got admission into another college of education. <laughs> and that one was, should I say worse, they were receiving lectures under the tree. Imagine that type of scenario, but he did not allow that to discourage him. And that was like the foundation or the basis of the, the foundation of his ministry. As he was doing that, as he got into that school, he was able to meet people. That was where he met his wife too. Just imagine that. Another thing is, if you're doubting, if you're drawing back, mm, if you find yourself drawing back from the faith, like maybe you are, you are in the faith and a lot of people look up to you and um, you, are, you are a firebrand, like you are one of those brothers that we all, all want to be like, but you find yourself drawing back, don't, don't, don't be discouraged. Don't give up on yourself. Don't feel like um, that, is, that, is, uh, that is how you want to live your life now. Don't give up on the faith. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on your, on your spiritual life. Now look at what happened to Brother Abayomi before, before he became the Mike Bamiloe that we, that we knew today. There was a time that a lot of people looked up to him too, but he drew back. And what I saw there is the way God loves us so much, that our salvation doesn't depend solely on us, that it's, it's, it's on him too. He is the one that is able to keep us and he kept Brother Bayomi as he kept him, he is able to keep you too. Even though you, you may not be able to find the strength to move on, even though you are, you are finding yourself drawing back from the faith, you are no longer enjoying fellowship of the brethren, this, may, this should inspire you, this should spur you on to go back to God and to ask for help, to ask for grace. Mm? Look at Brother Abayomi, at a point he was no longer going to church, he was no longer meeting with the brethren and, and <laughs> the funny scene, remember when the brethren came to check up on him and he quoted the book of James, like, you're, you're <laughs> it's so, so funny when I remember, mm? like somebody that is backsliding, that is in a, in a critical state, now was now twisting the scripture to, to sweet his state. He knew then that he was going down but he didn't care anymore, but then just one incident happened. I won't say that God caused that incident to happen, but when that incident happened and he, he, he suffered, he had an accident, a domestic accident, that incident brought him back to God. 
it brought him back to God. So you too, no matter the state that you are now, just know that God loves you. Don't be afraid of, just know that he is the, he's the good shepherd. Mm? That we leave 99 sheep to look after just one, to search for one that is missing. So Jesus loves you and he doesn't love you when you're in the world and maybe he'll love you when you're now with him. In fact, he loves you deeper. Okay now, so that's about that. And if no one understands the path the Lord has chosen for you, uh, if no one understands, maybe you're, you are the type that the Lord is, is directing you, is leading you into the type of ministry or into a path that nobody has treaded before. Don't because of that give up on God. Don't because of that thing that ah, maybe maybe if nobody is doing it. No. Don't because somebody is doing it say you won't do it. Now back then when brother Abayomi, remember that scene where he had to inform his church, his church elders, the pastors and the all of elders about his ministry, that he wanted to launch his ministry officially. Remember what they told him? Remember how they made fun of him? How they, they, they were asking, how can you be a dramatist and call that a ministry? That cannot be a ministry. But actually the Lord gave him that. The Lord planted that in his heart. But they did not see it. They could not see it. But remember that also God raised the pastor. He used the pastor to convince the rest of the elders that let's give this brother a chance now. After all, he's also a child of God. And if he says that God is leading him, then absolutely God is also is leading him because, you know, it's not the only pastors that God talked to. God talked to the church members too. He, he talked to the workers too. So if this brother is saying that God is leading me, then God is leading him. So let us support him. And that was how he could start his ministry officially. So don't get discouraged if you're walking in a path or the Lord has told you to walk in a path where no one is walking before. The Lord may tell you to do things that you're not seeing anybody doing. Or maybe people that are even doing it are not in your country. And you're looking at the challenges like, how can this happen? Let the story of, uh, of evangelist Mike Bamloy inspire you mm, to listen to the Lord and to follow the path that he has laid for you. And another thing is, if you're abandoned by people, I think, you know, when, when I saw the title of the movie, I was wondering how they came about the title, The Train. Then there was a part when after the ministry has launched officially, they've ministered in some places, they had to go to Kano, to Kano State to minister for a full month. And some members of the ministry were like, no, 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 no. How are we going to leave our work, leave our family and go to Kano for a whole month? And then Brother Abayomi now said, actually, what the Lord is telling us to do now is that anybody that will be a part of this ministry must be ready to work full time. I mean, f must be ready to go into the ministry full time, like no other job, just the ministry. And then unbelief set in, discord set in, some people got angry and they walked out. And Brother Bayami gave them a time and a date that let's meet at the train station, anybody that want to follow me to Kano. But you should know that when you go to Kano, you are going into the full time ministry. And uh, he was actually afraid that maybe nobody will come. But some people came and they finally became the part of the ministry that we have and we are all getting blessed by now. But some people did not come to the train station. Some people missed out. Maybe because they were discouraged. Maybe because they were afraid. Hmm? How am I going to fend for myself? How am I going to fend for my family? But the lesson we should learn there is that even if you are abandoned by people that are close to you, if you are abandoned by people that are that, 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 once believed in you you should not allow that to discourage you if the lord set his ministry the lord is going to set the people that will work for you they may not even be that will work with you rather they may not even be the type of people that you're looking up to or that you are thinking will stay but the people that the lord will inspire to stay will stay remember david even though david was being chased even though david was david was like a vagabond his life was in danger saul was after him but still he still had people that were protecting him you still have people that, that believed in him so you too when you are walking in a path and you're thinking that ah, I'm, I'm just gonna be alone brother Abayami was actually very afraid he was scared that what if nobody come to the train station but at the end of the day people came and when they came back from Kano remember what happened that it, that was when he started praying about taking drama to television there was no Christian drama on television then and when he started praying about that, his wife encouraged him and he, he, he started that, he started shooting. That was when we had Agbaranla and you know how Agbaranla was a hit, how it was a blast, how it blessed people. 
you know, Akbar Anla was beyond religion. There are a lot of Muslims, a lot of people that are not going to church, that, that are not Christians, that, uh, that enjoyed and got blessed by the movie. So that is, that, that is how, should I say that is how life, or how a believer's life can be sometimes. We are never truly alone. The only problem that we have a lot of time is that the people that we, we expect to, to support us, when they disappoint us, so heartbroken that we allow that to affect us so much to the point that we're almost giving up on the dream that the Lord has given to us. Okay, now, so another lesson to learn is that if your family rejects the person that you want to marry, even though the Lord is leading you to the person, then you should not, um, don't get discouraged. Continue to trust in the Lord. Now, in the in the case of um, of Brother Abayomi, his case was so peculiar that it was not his family that um, reject. It was not the family of the bride that rejected him. It was his own family, his own elder sister, the only sister he had, the only sibling he had, that discouraged. That was trying to discourage the family of the bride from releasing Mommy Gloria Bamiloe to him as a wife. Just imagine that simply because um, she didn't believe in his ministry, she didn't believe in his life, the way his life was going. You know, when I was seeing the film, when I was watching, I was, I was just like, wait, oh, this woman will be, will be regretting everything I, she did right now, the way she could not support. But then I now, I, now, I, now, I now reflected on it again, that humanly speaking, anybody in that type of situation that you need to support that type of person will be discouraged at one point or the other. Look at this. She was the sponsor of Brother Abayomi and Brother Abayomi got admission into a, a college of education that was like the best in the country, but he left to go seek admission into one mushroom college of education. Just imagine that. You know how much she would have spent on that admission and the registration process before he left. And then, and apart from that, all of a sudden, uh, Brother Bayomi woke up one morning and said, I've resigned from my, from, my, from my place of work. So what will you not be doing? I'll be doing full-time ministry. How are you going to be fending for yourself? You know, those things are very hard for anybody to, 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 to cope with. But this woman, she stood by him. But at a point, she got hired. So you too, if, some, if you are in that type of situation, just pray and continue to trust God for wisdom and for direction on how you're going to do about it. Okay, and on a lighter mode, okay, maybe because of what brother Abayomi had been through in the hands of women, like he had proposed to some number of women that turned him down, that rejected him, and it actually was a, like a, a joke like a joke in the in the fellowship then maybe because of that but do you notice the, the way uh, brother abayomi proposed to mommy gloria bamiloe it was so simple and straightforward there is no uh, i was going in the when i was when i was walking when i was going and uh, I, I was tired and uh, i saw you you came and you gave me water and you gave me food and I received strength for the journey. No, there was nothing like I was fetching water and you came and you helped me and that was how I knew that you're going to be my help in ministry. No, there was nothing like that. Just, will you marry me? Be my wife. Mm? Let's do this ministry together. And he was almost crying. He was so passionate. Well, that is my own definition of romantic anyway. He was so passionate. Maybe it was not on a bended knee with a diamond ring, but it was awesome okay so if you are not, not seeing the movie you need to go see the movie and note these lessons let the spirit of the lord minister to you even as you are seeing the movie don't just enjoy it don't just don't, don't just watch it and relax and like okay it's like it's not it's not one of the movies out there it's not one of the normal normal movie that film is supernatural i can say that it's supernatural it is out of this world okay so thanks for joining me thanks for um visiting this channel today and make sure you subscribe to this channel to receive more content more christian based relationship lifestyle and everything about jesus content till i come your way again i remain follow bye